happening, fam? What's happening, folks? Hope we're all having a good Tuesday there. Welcome into the Tuesday stream. Thanks so much for hanging out there. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into some fun Planet Zoo. Actually, we're gonna start not in Planet Zoo. We're gonna kind of do what we did yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and uh, check out some Pinterest and uh, other pictures of interest and inspiration first uh but yeah first how are we doing welcome in everyone welcome in new viewers welcome in returning members thanks for uh supporting the channel as always i'm trying to remember to do that more I'm trying to remember to thank my members for being awesome and supporting the channel but uh but anyways yeah let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we have going on what the heck have a great day it's not done yet Switch over there. There we go. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, welcome in. How we doing? Crowny, Primal, Juan, Angry, Mexican, Stacy, Blake is back. Blake has a new account that's not so hacked. Hey, Silver Fox holding down the fort there solo today for a little bit. Troy, what's going on there? Becca, I just saw Becca's picture on Twitter before uh, logging in over here and saw that she's going to be doing some content with a microphone and everything. What? What? What's up, Warden? How you doing there? Hey, Christina. Christina, right from the, or, uh, Christina, uh, field trip right from the start. That's right, exactly. So let's go ahead and do that. Bam! Kablamo! There we go. And Leaf! Oh yeah, so, <laughs> so Leaf and others are starting this thing in chat every day. Like the first people in chat to just say Bigfoot Zoo. And I think they're trying to make it so this project turns into a Bigfoot Zoo. No, it won't. It won't be a Bigfoot Zoo. But you know what we could do? Leaf. <laughs> if you want a Bigfoot type zoo, you make me a Bigfoot mod and we can put it in, um, what's that one zoo called? That, or that one project that I was doing. Hold on. What was it called? Oh yeah, Moose Jaw Cabins. We'll do it in Moose Jaw Cabins. Get me a Bigfoot, mod me a Bigfoot and we'll put it in Moose Jaw Cabins or whatever there. So that, that's how we'll get a book, Bigfoot zoo. So, but anyways, here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be working on an entrance area. Hopefully we can get this uh, kind of started there. Um, but the overall idea is that we're gonna get a parking lot and a entrance plaza uh, done. So let's start with the parking lot first, actually. So uh, the idea that I got for the parking lot is I stumbled upon this idea of four green parking lots. And what basically what a green parking lot is what it sounds like. So this is a normal uh, retail supermarket uh, parking lot. And this is what a green, oh no, no, other way. This way, this way. So normal to green. So this is a green parking lot. And this sounded interesting as heck. So it's basically comprised into three different sections. It turns a, again, regular like Walmart or Kmart or whatever, you know, a regular mall parking lot. And it turns it into three different sections where only a little bit of it is actually the parking lot now. We'll probably need a little bit more than this, but it has solar panels over the top of it there. Uh, this is like a community garden uh, in the middle right here. And then these over here are some more random greenhouses. And um, I think they're like, uh, like trees with like apples and pears and you know stuff like that so, so anyway i thought this was kind of an interesting idea to do for the parking lot for our zoo since we're really going to be uh you know like a brand new type zoo uh kind of built with 2020 2021 kind of mindset in mind you know everything's very eco-friendly and uh green and looking to the uh, future as far as um yeah being conservative or uh, yeah eco-friendly and stuff like that goes so i thought this might be kind of a uh, an interesting idea to kind of uh, tackle there for the main parking lot it's not going to be a big square parking lot like this we'll probably do it a little bit different shape or maybe we'll just do it straight like this but um so we're going to do this for the parking lot idea and then we'll do if we could go over to pinterest here I want to do this kind of idea right here for the plaza that you kind of do there. Uh, so yeah, as you have the parking lot kind of meet up to this plaza, I just really like the planters um, and the just kind of different designs you have with the planters or uh, the uh, pavings and all that kind of fun stuff there. So yeah, they kind of uh, kind of meet, merging those two together. We can kind of get something kind of neato speedo. Again, I don't know how far we're going to get. Um, a lot of the sustainable parking lot, the green parking lot, looks like a copy and paste job uh, as far as we'll just need to get it kind of laid out there. And then we can copy and paste over the uh, solar panels and the green uh, greenhouses and uh, community gardens, all that kind of fun stuff there. Hey, Domus, how we doing? Hey, Todd, good to see you. I'm trying to see other people I may have not have said hi to. <laughs> hey, Harry. Uh, finding a way to TAF everything. Uh, yes, everything from a shade structure to parking lots. Exactly. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to keep it kind of in that modern uh, kind of mindset there as we're uh, moving forward with this build there. So cool. Let's go ahead and jump into the project. You know what's kind of cool about starting a brand new project is I don't have to worry about... There we go. 
so I need a closer. That, that's perfect right there. I don't have to worry about uh, it taking five years to load <laughs> to load in like it does Thornton Hill Zoo. Hey, Primal. Hey, daughter. You could never what a parking lot. Oh, they're not bad. There's a there's a bunch. Of, look at that. How long did that take? Who timed it? <laughs> you wouldn't even have time to uh, turn your stopwatch on though so quick there. So hey, basic builder, how are you doing? Got to get back to work. How dare you? How dare you financially support your you and your family while I'm streaming? I'm I'm appalled. <laughs> but I appreciate you stopping in there. <laughs> hey, so so fan of Bobanas in chat. Look out, everyone. Do, 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 do. Hey, Crocs. All right, so here's always the hardest part here about starting off. Oh, oh, by the way, shout out to Leaf, double time. Uh, look what Leaf did. This is the, the, the short grass. Change the short grass in the whatever uh, climate this is. This is the savanna or whatever. Uh, change the short grass to the temperate short grass. So now we can combine the that short grass with this kind of uh, brighter green or long grass with the bright green short grass there so it's woo -woo. <laughs> so yeah no that's a big shout out to leaf there for that because that's gonna be really cool to combine the kind of savanna dried up grass with the bright green uh like right here it's looking really really cool right there so cool yeah it's gonna turn out really really nice there so noise uh let's see where are we going to start that's always the hardest part right well we're not going to start right here i'll tell you that much we're not going to start at the beginning we're going to make our own i'm going to make my own beginning it's gonna make my own path in life dad oh my gosh look how fast the paths delete oh geez i forgot what it's like to build on a not <laughs> to, like not built out map it's like it's a miracle it's amazing do, 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 do. Hey everyone coming in, it's a bunch of new faces popping on in there. Hope y'all are having a good week so far. A good Tuesday. All right, first thing we have to do there, clear out all the trees. Get out of here, trees. Go on, get. You remember, you have a go on, get emote to throw in there. There we go, I think that's all of them there. Nice. How am I clicking all those so quick? So the first thing I have open is the multi-select tool. So you can click that down here or you can hit I and it'll bring it up. And then I'm holding shift. So if you have a bunch of things out there, so let's say you have a bunch of different plants around and you want to get them all gone. Let's say it's a big old forest right here, right? And you want to get them all gone. So let's say you miss some of them. Like, oh shoot, I can't get them. If I hold shift and then click again, that gets all of them there. So, and then the multi-select tool as well, you can draw a big box over everything. So everything that you draw a box over there, will go ahead and select it there. So, boo, boo, multi-select tool. Hey, Bolt. All right, so we don't want to put our entrance there. We want to put our entrance where it's going to look good with the sun, because this is what we base the entrance to our zoos off of. The classic... Walt Disney line. You know, I was gonna put Disneyland right there, but the sun looks crap. Move it. Oh, Christina, oh my God, you're right, I did. <laughs> Hold on, back it up. <laughs> Hold on, reload the zoo. <laughs> I think you're right, I totally did. I didn't even think of it. Yep, I just deleted all the things. Woo! <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> I don't like that crap anyways. <laughs> Again, good thing it's not Thornton Hill Zoo, so we can just go woo and load right back in. All right, take two. <laughs> we start building, I get done with the parking lot. All right, let me put those things in from yesterday. Where, where the, where is, where's all the stuff? Oh. <laughs> Did I, have I even saved them as blueprints yet? I don't think I have. I should probably do that. No, they're fine. Nothing like that. Nothing tragic will happen ever again. Obstructed. It's Planet Zoo's favorite word. Obstructed. <laughs> All right. So let's try again with the uh, with that there. Blueprint those planters. Yeah. No, we should. We should. We should. I'll do it after a time that it's uh, necessary to do so. 
I'm being lazy. Should we do it where the entrance is at the sunrise or the sunset? I think the sunrise because the sunset's kind of blocked by, well, or the sunset's kind of blocked by mountains. I think we'll do it over here. Oh, see, then you get that golden. Wah! Bootyful. And that's how you decide where the entrance goes. All right, so you're right. Let's let's blueprint those after plopping down the entrance area. Do -do 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 -do. Where's the entr oh? There's the line. Take your time, camera. There we go. All right, so there is the general-ish starting point. Let's bring our entrance stuff over here and go ahead and blueprint them as well. So we have these small ones. We don't need to blueprint the trees up on top there. So small, modern planter, I guess. Yarp. Blueprint tag is it's a scenery thing. It's a nature, not really, but that's fine. Uh, let's see, this is the medium one. That's gonna have the tree involved, so why not? <laughs> uh, a lot of people, but how do you make your stairs go up with, st how do you make uh, stairs go up? I'll show you in a second. That is not a hard one at all. Medium plant, planter, yarp two. Yarp. Other scenery. Great blueprint. Uh, stairs. So when you put down a path, hold uh, hold your left mouse button up, and it'll. You can do a slope, or you can do a path. You can also lengthen it or shorten it by enabling elevated length in settings. You can make a really really short one. You can make a really really long one. So there you go. And last one. Save this, that's gonna save the trees as well. Large. Modern planter. No, it's spelled F-U-C-K McNugget Eater. God. <laughs> you can't even spell fack right. Spell it fack. And Yarp 3. Larp 3. You watch with your pup? What kind of pup do you have? My pup is not in sight and it's really quiet, so he's either being a good boy or everything is going to be terrible after uh, I go outside. Did the music stop? Did we already run out of that playlist? Oh my gosh, that was so quick. That was so fast. It's okay, I have a backup ready to go. Ready, kaboom! There we go. I have the backup ready to go. And we'll save this last one there. This is, I don't even know what this is. Um, modern shade structure. I do that all the time with my second letter. I always, uh, I don't let go of the shift there. <laughs> Yarp four. Let's just keep the Yarps going. A labradoodle noise. Noise. All right, so we have all three saved, so they will nothing will ever happen to him again. Murph Dog is always a good boy, even when he's bad boy. Oh, sometimes. Well, yeah, no. He didn't mean to do it yesterday because uh, he was like a new car ride. But anyways, yeah, yesterday we went to the uh, park after the stream, and in the brand new car, he went ahead and bleh. <laughs> I was like, no. We got to the park, and he uh, yeah he let loose a big ol belch actually maybe we'll do it in the corner right over here and have the parking lot kind of come out this way there um but anyway yeah we got to the we got to the park and bleh, all over the seat cushions and everything and it's funny because as we were going over there my wife was saying she's like oh and i just ordered this new seat cushion and um it'll be good for murph because he won't get the seat sturdy or anything and then right when we get to the park that <laughs> like oh come on so first thing this morning we uh we went to the car, uh, car wash next to us 
Because uh, the car wash was closed. It was kind of random. It was like a really, really nice night out. It was like six or seven o'clock and the car wash was closed. I didn't really know that. Uh, I don't know why it just didn't occur to me that the car wash is closed, but it just kind of seemed like it should be just open kind of thing. Um, new whip, yes, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a 2014 Chevy Equinox. That is the new core there. Are you do surrounding things like uh, buildings, houses? Maybe. Probably. Because here's the hard part, is trying to figure out the layout of it. And here's where I always end up coming back and switching stuff like a million times, so. Do, do, do. Equinox, yeah, it's, it's not a bad car. Well, the check engine light came on like a day after getting it. <laughs> <laughs> we're super protected and everything with it so we'll be fine if there's anything wrong with it we have like all the insurances and like gap insurance blah 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 blah. but it's just like oh, fucking really <laughs> we, we have it off the lot for a day and we already have the i think we'll have it come down this way let's you know that got me thinking leave maybe we'll we will uh kind of focus on an outdoor area or an out, outside section there um but anyways yeah if there's anything wrong with it we can and we have like, you know, lemon laws are in place and stuff like that. So nothing can, uh, if anything's wrong with it, we'll just be like, ah, uh, nope. Thanks anyways, we'll try again. <laughs> hey Aiden, how we doing? I don't think I'll build like an actual like, out like a town town or anything like that. I'll pretty much do what we did in Thornton Hills Zoo and what people are also doing in their uh, zoos, which is use the, uh, what's your blueprint called, Leaf? Your big tower blueprint. I'll just put those big skyscrapers, is it skyscraper? No. Like a downtown, nope. Large. Kind of like this. Eben has one too. I don't think I have it downloaded actually. Use Eben's instead. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> Another creator's like, nah, I'll use mine. <laughs> I don't even think I have Eben's. Let me, um, what's it called on the workshop? Uh, skyscrapers? Or skyscraper. I type that in. Uh, there's a few on here that are pretty good, but Eben's are nice because they're low. Uh, there it is, from iPun. You're a frame rate killer. That's why his are nice. I found them. They're from they're from Epun. That's why his are pretty nice because they're uh, they're just shells. Uh oh, steam down or is my internet just being weird? There we go. Okay, do that. Yeah, they're just front facades essentially. So cool. All right, have those now. They should show up here. If you all haven't seen these yet, uh, they are fantastic. And here's let me get the names from low detail skyscraper facade. That's the name of them on Steam. Low detail, he named them right too. There we go. So these are really nice to put in the background areas of your zoos to sell the idea that they're just outside of a city and stuff like that. Um, so actually, we're not gonna put those right there. We're gonna kind of put these off to the side and use some of them accordingly. Actually, get rid of those with this, please. We're not going to use all of them, just some of them, but we'll have them ready to go there. You got a new puppy yesterday? What kind of puppy did you get? Nice. So I think we'll use like one of these taller ones, but a lot of these kind of mid-range ones to kind of signify that. Because remember we picked up the city that we're in, Menifee or whatever, and it's not a big city. It's definitely not a big city, so we'll kind of try and represent that by just a little bit lower, or not as big skyscraper, just kind of... Mid midtown size there or whatever I don't know. <laughs> so there, there we go. Now we got these size that we need to do. We can get rid of this and try again. A husky German Shepherd mix. That sounds awesome, actually. That sounds really fun. <clears throat> <laughs> I guess my phone got a something happened to it. Oh, and you have a Doberman. Nice. Yeah, that's a good combination. How old is the Doberman compared to the, uh, you said puppy, right? Yeah, puppy. Doberman 
A lot of brushing from the shedding. Yeah, right? I probably will be. I make these buildings kind of lined up there. All right, so let's say it comes in. So do I need to have that signified? Hmm. You know, I'm going to hold off on the out outside area for right now. I am going to move the path. I'll bring that back for now so I know where to put the parking lot. Um, but I'm probably going to change it up a whole bunch. Let me just get the parking lot actually started here. It has been a long time since I built a parking lot. We didn't build a parking lot for Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. So yeah, it's been since pretty much Thornton Hill Zoo's uh, parking lot that I built an actual full-on one there. So this is just literally a square, right? Yeah, it is. All right, so let's do this. Make the length a little bit longer, save us some time there. might be big enough we might have to make it bigger not really sure didn't measure at all so let's see one two three four five 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 that's how i measure and now i have to redo it <laughs> well i knew that the grid can help a lot though that's what we did i i hit the Select grid, we selected the grid, and now we're being we're able to count that way. One, two, three, four, five. So that's where it'll end. So there'll be one, two, three, four. So yeah, five sections. One, two, three. Oh, there's actually only four sections. So let's take this out and that'll be the end. Do -do 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 -do. You lazy, you'd make uh, one parking lot and just copy and paste it. Yeah, I'm I'm doing it out of path. Just so it's a little bit easier to, well, I guess either way it would have been easier to measure out, but um, yeah, I'm doing out a path, so unfortunately, you know, we can't save the path. But yep, that is a good idea, though, just to make it out of, because no one's going to really walk through here. They might, though. They might. I might make the actual entrance area uh, within the parking lot to kind of hide it, <coughs> like within a bus stop or something like that. So we might need these plots of land there. I think there, these are going to need to be uh, thicker as well. Hey, what's up, uh, Danson? Because so, these are, yeah, five, one, two, three, four, or four. I mean, they're four wide. Mm, let's see if that's going to be wide enough or not. Now, actually, this is where it turns into the green parking lot bit. So these are going to be kind of concrete-ish, but the middle bits are going to say open, but still have parking structures on them. So the actual ground for it, and I think we can use the lattice piece in game, is covered with, I don't even know what you would call it. Is there a good picture I can show? Anyways, it's just kind of covered in uh, stone that's open with like grass growing through it. And so, hey, Savannah, how you doing there? But yeah, let's fill this in with green grass from leaf. This is why this was so important, because right when I saw the green sustainable parking lot idea, I was like, oh my gosh, leaf's gr grass and you mod it over is going to be perfect. Puppy's uh, eight weeks old, the Doberman's four years. Oh, that's kind of a good age for the Doberman to uh, still be into playing and roughhousing with the puppy a little bit, teaching them in the ways. Working, but you're having a good day at work? There you go. It's always nice when you have one of those real just... doesn't have to be chill, but just a good day at work to balance out the hectic ones. The days that remind you like, oh yeah, I, I do enjoy doing this. It's like I'm doing this for a career. <laughs> I should enjoy it. Because I do know 
work in a job and some days it can just be like okay i'm doing this and i'm getting paid for it and that's about it <laughs> but for a lot of people you know it's your career you're doing that because you love it love to do it so hopefully you uh, have more days that are good than not not good there do -do -do -do. yeah thanks for everyone lurking and everything i was talking to savannah and estian about that about how much I love this time that I'm able to do as of right now. Again, remember in about a week, week and a half, that'll be changing. But the 1 p.m. time slot for me, which is perfect for Europeans, is perfect for uh, North Americans who are uh, working and stuff like that. Ah, excuse me. So now we want to put the parking lot in. I think what we're going to do in the concept art that we were looking at there was divided into four different sections with one of them being the solar panel parking lot area on the far right the middle one being like a farmer's market and the left two here being like a community garden kind of thing there so you at your work yes definitely <laughs> definitely but what i think we're gonna do is have most of this be parking lot because you know I mean, we're servicing for a zoo here right there's gonna be a lot of people coming but i think this last parking lot actually maybe what we'll do is just have a little section just a little section <laughs> uh how big is this? one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all right two three four five make six <clears throat> cut it in half and have this little section right here just be the kind of community garden farmer's market kind of thing like there Two twenty-five in Ontario. Look at all the Canadians coming. I, that's what three Canadians I know of hanging out in chat there between Bold and oh, there we go. Oh, the gravel will be good. Uh, Bold, Silver Fox, and now uh, was that Warden Winky? Any other Canadians lurking that want to say hello? <laughs> the Canadians are taking over. Oh no! I knew they'd do it one day, I just didn't expect it through Twitch, or Twitch, whoops, <laughs> through uh, YouTube. All right, so I downloaded before some really nice solar panels. And there was like three, yeah, there's three different ones I downloaded so we can get a few different ideas here to use. I think we're gonna use that middle one. So this one probably isn't gonna work. No, it's not recolorable, so not that one. This one looks really good though. That looks pretty, pretty good there. And hey, thanks again, everyone, for the likes on the old Twitter and Instagram and all the social stuff that I post on. Always helps. So we're going to do... Yeah, oh, that green is almost perfect. It's like almost a go-away green. I didn't know that they could recolor these solar panels to be, like... I thought they had to be blue for some reason, but apparently... Nope. Yeah, you're not Canadian, Sebastian? Well, get out! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everyone's welcome here. There we go. Yeah, the, the New Englanders and the Canadians, huh? Dang. Working, working together against us. They're going to take over. <laughs> so now, so we have that set up. Now here's the other bit I have to build or use the... Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it ever, but I'm pretty sure I have it favorited. There it is. What is this called? Lattice. The lattice panel. So, ooh. I think we could use this. Or use it as a template to build off of. <laughs> no, Leaf. You're getting dragged into whether you want to or not. New Englanders thinking they're innocent. <laughs> Work is buying Panda Express. First day I'm just here trying to drag myself to lunch. Oh, nice. That's pretty exciting, though. I think we're going to use this um, as a template, but we're actually going to cover this with painted brick. I think there's a paint. Yeah, here's what I'm thinking of, but I think it might be too thick. Oh, it is very thick. Use the edging of it. I love me some Panda Express, though. It's 1812 all over again. I know, right? See? Canadians have been waiting all this time. No, I'm not going to do all that. It's fine. <laughs> I 
Bold, somehow your stream is always like... <laughs> Bold's internet just will make her so far behind that she'll just answer... She'll be like... She's the internet explorer of... Chat commenters, basically. Just like laugh at a joke that's like 10 minutes old. Like, Haha, I got it! I get it! Like, what? What, what are you talking about? Oh, a city option? You know they have that in Planet, uh, Planet Coaster. It's pretty cool. But it, the thing is, the map for Planet Coaster's Metropolis is, like, way smaller than the rest. Like, it's noticeably way smaller. Oh, it's SDN, everyone. Everyone say hi, SDN Wolf, but do it in a calm manner. Because SDN's doing this new thing where he's calm and collected and he doesn't get all high-pitched and excited. So everyone say, me, say hi to SDN, but be very chill. No exclamation points. Just hi, Estan. Right? He's like a, he's like a rabid, rabid raccoon that we t trapped in the corner. We just have to ease him into everything. There, there. Good. Shh, 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 shh. Shh. Good, good, everyone. There you go. Good. <laughs> no, don't, don't get him. Shh. It's okay. He's, he can get a little riled up there, but okay, good. How was your vacation, uh, Estian? If y'all don't follow Estian on Insta Instagram, he was posting some awesome pictures from, uh... <laughs> he was posting some awesome pictures from... Where was it? Oh, Harper's Ferry, right? But yeah, it looked like a... I was telling him, it looked like a model town, essentially. I couldn't believe that some of the pictures were real. It was awesome. <laughs> Oh, I'd see then Leaf ruined it. Now now SDN's gonna get all excited and he's gonna grow a bunch of hair on his chest and start surfing on top of vans. Oh wait, that's that's a movie, isn't it? Let's let's make a Teen Wolf 2, but we'll call it S Dan Wolf 1. Like S Dan Wolf. And we'll just have him just car surfing on like No, we'll go to like somewhere with waterfalls and he can waterfall surf. And then he'll be like the captain of his local football team or basketball team. Look, Clark! Don't don't say waterfall so loud. Oh dang, you can't even see that from way out here. Aw. That might be a waste of twelve hundred, almost thirteen hundred pieces. <laughs> this might be one of those things where it's a cool idea in IRL, but I don't know if it'll work here. Alright, it might work. I just need to use a different Material. Yeah, you can't even see that really. Actually, overall, we won't even be able to see it because I'm going to cover this with a solar panel. Yeah, I'm going to like put the solar panel <clears throat> bits all up and over here. And it doesn't look like it does. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and that's a good question. It. I'm going off of this concept art for a sustainable parking lot. And they have, like, actually bricks. They use bricks to have little bits of... Oh, the long grass is going to be the wrong color, but that's okay. They have uh, grass growing through. Oh, and that's, like, way too long, too. But I don't think it's going to translate well to Planet Zoo. You know what? We could try. Let me see there. Where's, oh no, it's under construction. The green roof thing that we have. What if I added this to it? What's this look, look like upside down? Oh, hey, that's kind of neat. Can I change the color of that? Oh, dang, look at this wood texture. Hey. Uh, Leaf, or any other modders, can y'all make this flexi color back here? Because this wood texture on the back of the green roof thing is like French kiss, man. Alright, let me see here. No, that doesn't quite work. That doesn't quite work. Okay, that's a waste of almost 13, uh, 1300 pieces there. So what do you make? We're making a green parking lot, a, a sustainable parking lot, essentially there. That's a Nick request? Okay, I'll be sure to uh, let him know. 
Uh, why not use the brick path instead of scenery pieces? The brick path. Uh, I think it's like a bright red, isn't it? Or am I, uh... You mean the block, this block path here? That's not a bad idea, actually. I don't know if this is the one you're talking about, but that, I like that idea, actually. Actuary. Because <laughs> it has a little bit of the green kind of growing through it. You want to record some videos today since I had a, a free-ish day? And of course, landscapers have been here just... <laughs> or there's this one, too. Does it have grass growing through it? Not really. I kind of like this uh, the block path, though. Maybe he'll cover with that. Hey, Mr. Mussy. Should I watch Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker? I don't know. I haven't seen any of the... I saw The Force Awakens. Um... And then I was I was good. Uh, so yeah, I saw that one, and I saw Rogue One. Rogue One was really good. And then that was... And then I watched the Man Mandalorian series. But other than that, I haven't watched any of the new Star Wars stuff. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Force Awakens, yeah, Force Awakens was the first of the new trilogy set. Yeah, okay, so I was trying to remember if I watched that one or the, the second one, but yeah, none of the, the other, the last two movies just didn't really interest me. Just everything I read about them, like how the directors weren't like doing the same story or like none of the directors were talking or I don't know. It just, it just seemed like weird. <laughs> and I wasn't even going to watch Rogue One, uh, but it was out at a buddy's place. And uh, we just kind of started watching it. And it wasn't half bad. I don't remember the first half of the movie, but the second half was really cool. I don't know what that says about it, but. <laughs> All right, this might work out. You picked all the best ones. Oh, did I? Of the new ones? <laughs> I guess I just have good taste there. No, I just, I lucked out, basically. The Last Jedi was good, but uh, Rise of uh, Skywalker was crap. <laughs> I heard that was, like, having to, like, fix a lot of what they did in Jedi. I don't know. I've kind of uh, started to look at a lot of spoilers and stuff. I just don't think I'm going to watch it. And honestly, it's because of, like, all the, the stuff surrounding it. And I know people are like, no, don't let everyone else. It's, like, too late at this point to, like, not let the outside... Uh, stuff surrounding it not affects like how you view it in my opinion um so yeah i don't know they're on disney plus or whatever so we can watch them whenever it's just it almost feels like i am like going into like a chore because it's like all right i'm gonna have to give myself two and a half hours here three hours or whatever and hopefully it doesn't suck because half the world is like wow absolutely worst thing I've ever seen in my life. And the other half was like, that's ah, not that bad. So it's either gonna be two and a half hours of, that wasn't that bad, or it was really bad. Missed a spot of path, oh dang it. All right, we'll go back and get it. Oh, come on, buddy. Luke turns into a good character. They do him so good in it. Yeah, nice. You like episode three and any uh, Clone Wars content? Ooh, yeah, I wasn't a fan of uh, Clone Wars either. That, that, the Jar Jar Binks stuff, I don't, no, I, that didn't resonate with me at all. Even as a kid, like, watching, I was like, this is boring. <laughs> I need a car. Not, I'm not going to put a lot of cars out, but I just need, like, a vehicle of... Pro oh, wait, we have the... Uh, or whatever but yeah i i was i i didn't like the prequels i like clone wars the second one clone wars was good but only like the last what it was like half hour when yoda was like bow, 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 i'm yoda um that was sick but everything else was just like me with my like dumb like 13 14 year old play-doh brain i was just like oh my gosh i don't care about politics do the do the star wars stop making it a political like star wars <laughs> I kind of like how this thingy looks. You know, we're, we're going to put some support structures on it here. Oh, did I miss half? I did miss half. I made it all one structure. That's okay. I'm take this.
No, I'm just gonna take a new blueprint of the solar panel. Clone Wars was a show is really good. Uh, Clone Wars was a show. Oh, you all were talking about the movie? My bad. My bad. <laughs> I always forget that Clone Wars was a show as well. And uh, yeah, I've heard a bunch of times that it's really, really good. Never sat down to watch it. It's all up on, uh, it's on uh, Disney Plus though, isn't it? So, probably should, oopsie, probably should check that out. Happy Hyena, it's Hyena Day Gaming Hyena? I guess you would be the one to know that, wouldn't you? The show is very, very good. Gotcha, gotcha. Here I am ranting about how only like 45 minutes of Clone Wars. Not even the right Clone Wars. Yeah, I, I think I, uh, I need to watch it because of Mandalorian. There was some reference to the Clone Wars TV show Mandalorian, right? With, um, what's her name? I can't remember the character's name. But she had, like, alien looking... <laughs> she looked like an alien. And she was a Jedi and she was like, wow, wow, wow. It's awesome. I just get a lot of hate they don't deserve, do they? I was raised, or we were always taught in school that like they were the, uh, like vultures or whatever of the uh, wild. You know how they just pick apart all the, the bull crap left behind that like the, even the lions don't want and stuff like that. So they're really good in that aspect. Ahsoka? Ashaka? Is that, is that how you pronounce it? I don't even know how you pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, that, that one. That was a cool episode of uh, Mandalorian. I think I have it all. I want it all. My wife. <laughs> is that the uh, actress's name, Rosar Rosario Dawson? I, I was just talking to my wife about this the other day, how there's, uh, there's, yeah, there's starting to be a lot of actors and actresses that I haven't heard of. Like, you know, younger actors, actresses, or just like newer ones and um, movies and stuff like that. Because we haven't gone to the movies or anything in a long time. That's kind of neat. Um, so yeah, there's just like this, I feel like a whole new slew of actors and actresses that I'm not really like aware of that I need to... You start watching more film and TV. Well, TV, we watch a lot of TV. We, we definitely watch a lot of TV. But even before the pandemic, we didn't really go out to the movie theaters that much. It was too expensive. Hey, Jay Campbell. They're one of the few animals that can bite through bull. Really? Holy cow. They hunt more than they scavenge. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. T-I-L. T-I-L. All right, so that's a good roof structure there. I think we'll go ahead and use our favorite prop here, the... There we go. New World Architectural Beam. Why don't we do these green too? I think, yeah, we will just kind of stick with this really green theme there. We'll just, um, oh, there's nothing to snap this to. We'll have to freehand a little bit, but we'll cover this, actually. Cover up the white. Or I could just change the white into green, I guess, instead of doing this. What does that look like? Let's see that first. If I just change this into the same green color, we'll do the same thing. Not really. You kind of need that backing white behind it to differentiate it between a solar panel and not. So yeah, we will go ahead and cover this. Some, pla uh, some places consider hyenas a bad omen, so they kill them, really, huh? Now, do they consider them a bad omen because they, you know, hunt, or they maybe go into their villages or cities or whatever, because humans have been kind of encroaching on their territory for a long time and eat their livestock or crops or whatever that's usually what it, it seems like what happens especially like africa and other animal rich you know countries that the, the you know africa is just or other places like india and africa and stuff like that are just expanding so much that you're just kind of encroaching on natural wildlife areas do, do, 
do, uh, went to Africa, I forgot where, but they they fed the hyenas by having people hold meat on a bone in their mouth and the hyenas would bite it off. Whoa, that's intense. <laughs> that's kind of fucking intense. It's us not that. It's, it's usually the case, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's the, the tale as old as time of progression versus uh, preservation, right? I guess you could say we're trying to do better in most places of the world uh, nowadays, but you know, a lot of these places are third world countries trying to become just, you know, basic world countries. So it's, it's kind of a weird situation where they're trying to develop as a country so that their people aren't hurting, but at the cost of, you know, pollution and expansionism and industrialization, all that kind of fun stuff. So. Yeah. Heine Clan and oh really Benjamin? Huh. Interesting. Hunt for a good reason, not bad. Yeah, I was looking into that a little bit more. Um I think it was yeah, I think it was Leaf and some other people were talking about that in John T stream, and I never heard of that. Uh you know, hunting for a good reason or whatever, whether it be like older animals or uh, nuisance animals. I mean, we do the same thing around here. We, I just never heard of it in like uh, African countries because you always hear about animals being, you know, extinct or on the verge of extinction and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I, I just heard about the whole, you know, hunting for environmental reasons and stuff like that. And your cat snoring behind you. Shh, cat. Gosh, you're ruining it for everyone. <laughs> we have smaller ones of those. Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, and then I think we'll put a row here of a, uh, what do you even call it? Topiary. I was just noting the other day that I never used the topiary uh, hedges in this game. I think this would be a really, this would be a good opportunity to use them there. Go with our green feel, right? Except there might be, need to be a natural bush instead. Yeah, because they want it to be more of a natural thing. Topiary, you got to go and manicure them all the time rather than them being like the natural fauna of the uh the land and everything so let's put a we'll put a uh planter through here and let natural fauna kind of grow through so we're gonna we'll do a sleek concrete i guess concrete's not good for the environment either oh, whatever can't think that hard about it <laughs> he's old so he has an excuse that's fair yeah that's fair what's well so my cats have no excuse then they're just fat my one cat is, uh, for sure is. <laughs> he's whenever he sits there and is uh sleeping, he's like <gasps> it's like, oh god, Bruce. You need to run. Out of the two cats, I wish I could let him outside, because he he definitely needs to go run around outside and uh hang out. <laughs> Ooh, mud wall, that might be kinda nice to Australia has a major uh, rue problem, so a number of licenses are given out every year to allow people to hunt them to keep them in check due to their uh, lack of predators. Yeah, we have uh, something similar here in uh, Illinois with geese and deer. Because, yeah, all their natural pre Well, the thing is their natural predators are gone because of humans. <laughs> so it's kind of the catch-22 there. Because now humans have to take place of the predators that we originally got rid of. Like a coyote, wolf, bear. I can't remember if it's brown bear or black bear. Not sure which one. Oh darn, the mud brick set doesn't have a small little thing I can put in between here, does it? Nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. I'll use plaster. It's always plaster. Do, 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 do. Black bears are primarily herbivores, so it'll probably be a brown bear. Yeah, it probably would be, yeah. I, I can't remember which one we have. I think we have both around here. But 
one is way uh, more prominent than the other. And I shouldn't say around here, because like where I'm at is a city area. <laughs> like it's very high population, so they, it's very rare if we see. We do we do get them still. Uh, I was was it last summer or two summers ago? It was there was a big uh, family of black bear, some bear. I don't I can't remember if it was black or brown. I think it was brown. Uh, moving through the area, and it was a big deal for like two weeks. They were spotted going through people's neighborhoods, and uh, one one of them got into a pool, and it was caught on someone's camera, and that was like the big local news story for like a straight week. Like, oh my god, did you see the bear in the pool? <laughs> yeah, receptionist lady. You had to, everyone had an alert to put your dogs inside and stuff like that. At uh, at nighttime, if uh, you have for work during the day, try and keep them inside and everything. So we still get them. Just not, you know, not not common at all. Not very common. But if I go up north, give or take, probably not even that far. But uh, we used to own a cabin about three and a half, four hours from here. In a town called, uh, just outside the town called Minocqua, Wisconsin. I don't need that one there. And, um, we would, you would see them a lot up there. Just driving around. You would just, you'd have your windows down. And there usually wasn't, like, too many, like, radio or, like, reception up there or anything. So you just have your windows down listening out there. And you hear, just like, rah, like, out in the back. That was, that was the best bear impersonation you're ever going to hear, by the way. <laughs> but you wouldn't, you'd hear like way off in the distance. It was either that or moose. I don't think there was moose way up in uh, Wisconsin, but so yeah, you, you'd hear him just out in the distance. You got a lot of black bears. Yeah, uh, Appalachia area kind of does, right? Yeah, yep. We need to go a little bit further. May as well just finish it off, right? I saw a black bear once when I was a kid. I was out at night atop a hill and saw a big shadow uh, Able out into the road at the bottom, looked up, stood, and then ran to the, Oh, that's cool. And you ran, too. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> Isn't it, though, if, if they wanted to, like, they bears can run faster than you and everything? What is it from that movie, uh, Without a Creek? You're just going to the fetal position, right? <laughs> you just go into the fetal position. You'll, you'll be fine. <laughs> Unless it decides to pick. No, I know. It's, it's just a movie. <clears throat> Hopefully we get a lynx here in a few years' time. Oh, because you're missing all the predators? Mm. Were they all, uh... Hunted off. That bears used to be their way towards uh oh towards the smoke. He's kind of a what do you call it, like a yeah natural highway form or whatever. <clears throat> a grizzly can run down a horse. Well, fuck me. <laughs> I guess a human may just may as well. If you see a grizzly or a bear coming at you, just all right. <clears throat> yep. Go ahead. Just go ahead. <laughs> I got no chance. You just don't want to, um, too much of what's to kill a deer, which is probably true, but I still want to. I went, um, deer and pheasant hunting with one of my mom's boyfriends back in the day. And I, I did the pheasant hunting part, but, uh, I watched them do deer hunting and it looked really cool. And we got some venison afterwards too. Like really cool is in the, like the sense of, um, not the, I don't know, the shooting part of it was kind of like the most anticlimactic part of the entire thing, at least to me. The fun part was tracking and like just... I don't know, it, it's gonna sound cliche, but you know, being out with the guys, tracking a tracking a deer. It was just, it, but it was true though, is this, you know, going out and you're getting in the gear, you're getting some of the smells and uh, you're like sitting there listening and you're looking for tracks and stuff. You learn a lot too. Um, and you were out there for three days, no, two and a half days. We left on uh, Friday after they got off work and went out for uh, a few days. A buddy had a small little cabin, no electricity in it, barely any running water kind of thing. Like, I think they had to bring up buckets of water and, you know, fill it up that way. No heated water, that's for sure, but... And yeah, we would just go out all day. And I mean, like, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Let's go! <laughs> and there it is. And yeah, we would just go and... Tr and you know, we wouldn't see that many. I don't know if it, that's like... They sucked at it or what but like we wouldn't see that many like maybe over the whole weekend a dozen or more or just barely more but um yeah no the really fun part again was just like the tracking and just uh figuring out you know how to 
I don't know, just different signs like, oh yeah, there was something here. Was it a deer? I don't know if it was a deer, but there was definitely something, you know, here, laying here last night or, you know, just, it was really cool. It was really, really cool. I know I said I was going to go for like a natural type thing here, but now I'm doing like more of a gardening thing. I don't know, whatever. It all looks fine. <laughs> So these will go on either end. We're not going to have these underneath the solar panels, right? Because there's no sun under there, really. So, Oh, I mean, I'm all stuffed up there. Play dead. Uh, black bears just run their natural scavengers, so they'll uh, still attack. Oh, interesting, Vanity. Huh. Cheetahs lived in North America once. Really? A hobbit's layer. Yeah, exactly that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have a major raccoon issue, but you're not allowed to hunt them, and they're a major problem. You know, we have a huge uh, raccoon problem as well, and I don't, we don't have a raccoon hunting season or anything. So yeah, I don't, I don't even know how you'd like go about that. It's raccoon hunting season in the city. Yeah. Hello, Pink Spoon from Norway. I think we'll do every other one. I have a habit of whoopsies. I have a habit of, when I'm placing stuff, doing every single one, even though I know it's not going to look good. So I'm going to just do right off the bat every other one. There we go. There's actually a black bear season. No female with cubs slash one bear per year limit. Must be a minimum of 75 pounds. Really? So that's that much of a, a issue there. Huh. You know, I always heard that... Oh, man, did I do this off by one? That's annoying. Oh, shoot. Whoops. I would uh, always heard that you can really hunt black bear like that or whatever, but I guess I don't know that makes sense, though. So obviously, right? Hey, Jake! So instead of lining up with those, we'll line up kind of in the center there. There we go. Pretty sure that Canada was the T-Rex capital of the world a million years ago. Whoa, that's a record I'm very proud to have. What was the thing I just saw about T-Rexes? I know we have a lot of dino nerds in chat that can uh, probably embellish on this a little bit. But wasn't it that they just, they're starting to think that T-Rexes hunted in packs, which if you can even imagine how absolutely terrifying that would be. Because wasn't it before they thought that there was only like, like a group, like maybe one or two of them would hang out together? But now they're thinking that like freaking five, six, seven of them might have like, you know, just been like T-Rexing about. Like what? No way. Get out. <laughs> it's a good thing they went extinct. It's been a thing for a while. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I just saw it on the trending on Twitter. So my layman butt just uh, got wind of that. But yeah. Hey, what's up? Who's cutting the onions? Oh, no worries, buddy. We have essentially laid down a square parking lot and our... Oh, you're right. We did miss... Whoever mentioned that earlier, we did miss one. <laughs> um, yeah, we're starting to get our parking lot going with some solar panel sustained uh, parking structures here. Only young T-Rex and males hunted in packs. Man, that's, even, that's, that's still terrifying, though. That's still terrifying. Great whites hunt in packs, uh, stay in mated couples and siblings sometimes uh, stuck together. Dang, all the scary animals learning to be scary together. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. Now we need to place down the parking lines. Oh, that's why. A T-Rex pack uh, can't be much more scary than a group of drunk university kids up at up the tune. Up the tune. That's that's a very British thing that you just said there, Harry. Up the tune. <laughs> but you're right. Yes, a group of uh, drunken college kids probably is one of the scariest things to see. Saying that as a former drunken college kid. Oops, that is not straight at all. Do -do 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 -do. 
Ooh, that's the... Oh, you can actually put it a little bit forward, or is this the one that's too long? It's too long. We use the other rectangle two. Goga Notosaurus. Goga... Giga... Giga Notosaurus hunted a pack, and it was bigger than T-Rex. See, it's a good thing that whole, like, extinction thing happened, isn't it? Because not only would we have to worry about big dinosaur-looking mamma jammas, but it was also have to worry about the bugs back in, like, the uh, prehistoric times. Because there's, like, so much more oxygen on the on Earth that, like, you know, all the bugs were ten times the size that they are today. Could you imagine just, like, a house fly buzzing around just the size of a horse? Or the spiders. I mean, everyone always mentions the spiders, right? It's always, imagine a, a horse spider. No. I'm gonna nope out of that scenario. <laughs> That's fair, Harry. <laughs> Only realized it was a British thing until I sent it, yep. <laughs> that was British AF, my friend. <laughs> Dolphin packs are scary, really? Oh, don't they like um all my, my all the days of watching Discovery Channel back in the day are like trying trying to come through my brain cells here. Don't they like uh slam on top of their prey to like drown it, essentially? I guess they can't really drown a fish. Or like smother it essentially. Yeah, don't they like bring it down to the bottom of the uh the ocean or wherever they're at, and then they just like belly flop on it like enough where it dies? Or is that like whales? That do that i know some animal like basically belly flops its prey to death <laughs> orcas do that oh orcas yeah that's right the seals and stuff right they just like start belly flopping them to death Man. <clears throat> it's no joke. <laughs> they just kill dolphins just kill puffer fish for fun. See that's the that's the problem you get, right, with an animal that is uh aware of its or just smart, right? <laughs> They're just like, you know what? Would be kinda fun. Let's do this. I think we'd actually have it like minimum parking like that. So it's like really big breezeways, really big areas for people to get out in and out of. It's not going to be a lot of parking. Well, yeah, it will be. be pretty good parking lot. I'm almost considering getting rid of this half right here and just having the structures like this. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Orca, yeah, orcas are, but yeah, yeah, that seems to be the consensus that orcas are kind of assholes. <laughs> I'm gonna try this. I don't know if this is gonna look good or not, but luckily there is Control Z. And we'll take, let's get rid of that. And we can take this, move you forward. Jellyfish. So, are jellyfish assholes because... I, I totally understand what you're saying, Silver Fox, but are they assholes or are they just existing and they happen to be deadly assholes? Because <laughs> I can almost sympathize with something that's just like, well, I was just existing, man. You just stepped on me. For some reason, jellyfish sound like that, by the way. Hi, everybody. I'm a jellyfish. <clears throat> Grab sharks and turn them upside down um, until they asphyxiate. <laughs> that's kind of badass, though. <laughs> this is, that, that feels wrong to say, but that's kind of that's kind of badass. <laughs> There's just so many things about the animal world that, like, I know this is like a total like it almost feels like a stoner thing to say, but it's like, man, the animal world, man. But it's true. Like, if you like just look at like Planet Earth or any of the other documentaries, it's like, dude, the world is gnarly. Or the, the animal world is gnarly. 
<laughs> they just don't care about anything. It's always funny to me when people like try and kind of. I guess it's just end it like that. Um, when people try to, I guess personify or like make something cute, like oh, don't do that to the cute little. Don't call that thing a cute little whatever. Out in the wild, that cute little whatever would rip off the head of like another cute little whatever and like suck its guts out with like a straw. It wouldn't even care. <laughs> Do, 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 do. They didn't choose to be dangerous. The dangerous life chose them. So right, let's get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this too and see if it looks good with just kind of slate it off like that. I think that's kind of neat out of speed like that. Love the look of this build. Cheers. Um, but I would hate to have to park around those uh, poles uh, columns. Yeah, this reminds me of a parking structure in Little, uh, not Little Rock, Hot Springs, Arkansas, uh, that we used to have to park in all the time whenever we would visit uh, my grandparents that lived there. And yeah, they had a few of those kind of gnarly poles where you're like, wait, I'm supposed to fit through this? Uh-oh. What happened to... Uh oh It's okay. Easy fix. Uh, but yeah, I'm just like, wait, how does the car... And you know, somehow the car always snakes around, but you're just like, I'm going to totally clip my mirror. <clears throat> there's some places in like New York and well, I, well when we used to live in Denver there's a lot of those uh, areas in downtown Denver where you're just like there's no way there's no there's no way a car or truck anything is going to get past and then boop there it goes I'm like alright well I guess they like hired engineers for this stuff or something I don't know like they thought of it or something I, I guess <laughs> Just a bit too long. Oh, question, because now I have, I have the air on for the first time this year, because it's like almost 90 degrees today. Uh, can y'all hear the air going in the background when I'm not talking? Just wondering for future reference if I need to muffle the air vents or not, because <coughs> that can be annoying. Snakes in your faves, you love the sharks. Stingrays are legit the calmest carnivores ever. They just kind of float on through like, hey guys. Yo, you can just a little bit. Okay, thank you for letting me know. But it's not disruptive. Okay, I will look into it. If it's not too disruptive for y'all today, I will look into that. There's some stuff I can actually, oh, you know what? Let me try this. Let me try this. I have my gain turned up on my microphone a lot. I can actually just turn that down. The gain is what makes it so you can hear sensitive noises a little bit more. So maybe that'll that'll uh, help it out. Let's see. I think underneath here I'd like to get some structure going. Thanks for letting me know, though. Everybody. That's one of those um, streamer things that. Oh, what was what did it say? I just was reading it the other. Oh, um, how streamers always appreciate when people tell them that they're mics are muted or their audio is bad because there's so many times you'll go into someone's stream and no one will say anything um, to the actual streamer about their like their mic being muted or their audio like not sounding the greatest and usually it's like a simple fix or whatever always nice to actually hear feedback <laughs> have you all ever fed stingrays? i've never fed stingrays before no i've seen people feed stingrays uh, but i've never fed them personally no You have a corn stick, but sadly she's uh, currently missing, so we're looking... Like, in your house, or do you think that it got out? Like, I don't know, it kind of startles me that there might just be a snake going around. But I suppose corn snakes might not be, like, super duper creepy snakes. <laughs> so that? Oh, I'm so stuffed up today. It's the changing of the season. It always happens. How can I make my pass fit my whole building if it's at an angle? So you might have to use, like, construction pieces to fill in the gaps sometimes. So if you use, like, 
flat roof pieces like plaster or concrete or something like that i can fill in the gaps My mic volume dropped. Okay. Boop. I'm just gonna leave the game where it was then. So you might hear the, since y'all said it wasn't that bad though. So today you'll just hear the uh, the air going. We're gonna not have it on again for a little while. Just it randomly today got up to like 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll look into that for the next time I turn the, uh, the AC on. Well, I think this gives it just a little bit of definition there. Or not, I don't know if definition is the word, but just a little bit of something something. So it's not just like a plain Jane roof. Better make volume. <laughs> 90 sound wonderful. It was nice um, up until the mid out or the early afternoon. This morning was like, mm, it was so freaking nice it was like the first ridiculously nice day out and yeah and then noon one o'clock ish hit and whoopsie <laughs> and it got real hot and you know this is the first like again really hot day this year uh, so i'm like we're not used to it at all we're kind of my blood's still used to uh like uh cold weather essentially i don't have thick blood yet <laughs> my uh my grandpa used to say that i don't know if it's true or not he's like yeah no you're your blood is uh, thinned during the winter time in the cold weather. So when the warm weather comes, uh, it has to get thickened up a little bit there. Ah, uh, thanks, Leaf. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty cool. I like the kind of contemporary look to it, I guess you'd say. May as well finish out filling in the rest of this stuff here, too. So we're going to build this one time, and then we're going to be able to repeat it. That's the whole thing. That's why I'm spending so much time on this one area. Because we can take this one parking structure now and then repeat it around. February, you had a week of a blizzard. You're more adapted to the heat. Ooh, you had a blizzard uh, for a week too, huh? Dang. That's a long, long blizzard. We usually get one... I don't know, not one. Uh, we usually get just a handful of snows over the winter, but when we get snows, like it snows and then it's just war or warm. Then it's just cold, so the snow just stays. That's always our thing. Like, here you go, have have three feet of snow. I'll see you again in about a month and a half with three more feet of snow. Until then, enjoy this negative 10 degree Fahrenheit weather. Okay, thanks, Mother Nature. You're, you're my favorite. You pet a st stingray before? Nice. Cool. Where'd you, uh, where'd you pet a stingray from? How would I explain this park's budget? I, I'm saying that it is top tier zoo. Like, so this is a brand new project uh, in the sense of like a brand new zoo ground up. Uh, the location for it is in Menifee, California. And yeah, we're, we're going to say that a big private backer is, is giving this thing some money. And, and again, it's a brand new zoo, too. So we can look at modern uh, habitats, modern builds, uh, everything very modern, sleek, you know. Or as, uh, as Dr. Hammond would say, or not Dr. Hammond, as, uh, oh, shoot, what's the fucking Jurassic Park guy's name? John, uh, John Hammond would say, there it is. Spared no expense. <laughs> Spared no expense. Hey, Cyrus, how you doing there? I don't know if you uh, were here earlier. Or you just snuck snuck in there. I zoom in. That's practically your back. Is it really? Yes. Yeah. I, we were looking on Google Maps yesterday, and I pinpointed that Menifee. And this was totally random. I'm, I haven't never been to California, mind you. I was just doing some uh, some research, and I pinpointed that Menifee, California, would be a good spot right off the 251. There is a about a three and a half plot mile plot of land available right off the 251 and it's an hour and a half away from the los angeles zoo and an hour away from the san diego zoo 
So, you know, just, just enough away from the big city, from San Diego and LA, to kind of draw people out. And yeah, I thought it was a nice little location. Now, now they're gonna tell me like, Metaphy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't have anything there's no way it would work in men no <laughs> either way it, it looks like a good bus spot to do it there <laughs> Doo -doo 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 -doo. uh that winter storm that left uh texas oh yeah 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 uh we at least uh, had uh power but no running water for five yeah that's right uh that was really bad for a lot of people wasn't it i think this is just about done there um that's a bummer yeah but y'all are never prepared for that yeah, you're, you're never uh, really prepared for that kind of stuff. It's just like if Tennessee or any other place got hit with snow down south. Or vice versa, if we got hit with a five days in a row of nasty, dry... Well, actually, we do, so... <laughs> yeah, never mind. We kind of get hit with all types of weather here in the Midwest. We don't get hurricanes. We get the after effects of hurricanes, but we don't get hurricanes, so I guess there's that. What am I missing here? Oh, the entire planter. We get tornadoes instead, which I've experienced a hurricane before in uh, in Florida. It wasn't it wasn't a bad one or anything, but I gotta say I think I'd rather do a hurricane than a than a uh, tornado. I've been I've been in plenty of tornadoes before, or tornado warnings, or uh, watch tornado blow stuff up essentially from the distant from a distance. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think I'd rather uh, take my chances with the old tornadoes or uh, hurricane. Excuse me. so that the poles aren't there we go zoo knoxville would not let that happen a thousand years oh no <laughs> um you stopped at a very janky zoo this weekend it would have uh, been right up your alley like you pet a giraffe and it looked uh food for my hand and there was absolutely no zoo staff that sounds amazing that sounds awesome i hope you did some uh blogs and or vlogs and stuff like that of your trip there uh Estian. sounds like you guys had a had a good time Super, super sketch, but the animals at the same time looked really well uh, cared for. That's good, right? I guess that's what it really matters when it gets down to it. Because um, I've heard a lot of times from zookeepers, uh, I think this is good. I think this is pretty good. Uh, that the enclosures a lot of times are gussied up and made to look really, really nice for the for guests. The animals could kind of give two rips uh, from what they can tell. You know, not saying, I, I know this is always a seems like whenever I bring this up, it's always a little bit of a touchy subject for people. Um, not saying that's the definitive answer, but, uh, you know, again, that's what a zookeeper has relayed to me before. Ooh, so now, oh, this is kind of cool when we start doing it. What if we flip it around backwards, though? Like this. Actually, do have a meet up. Actually, there's a almost a zookeeper right there that might have an opinion on that. <laughs> hey, Savannah, finally lunch. What'd you get from Panda? Oh, I think I'm gonna do it like that. Bros, yo, you ever just like build something and then you're like, it turned out awesome? Cause that's kind of where I'm at right now, yo. <laughs> Ooh, oh, the planter though is kind of weird. Um, that's. Fine, I'm gonna get rid of okay, we're gonna do it again, but I'm going to get rid of this planter from the ooh, that's gonna be a bummer. It looks I think yeah, I think it looks cool. Orange chicken and fried rice. I get that every single time too. Except I get broccoli beef with it as well. If I'm getting a second side, I get broccoli beef as my second side. Oh, so Savannah, what I was saying you might have an opinion on. Um I've heard from uh, other zookeepers. I know you're not a zookeeper, but you know. Um I've heard from zookeepers that animal enclosures are mainly gussied up or like made to look really, really nice and stuff, mainly for zoo guests rather than animals. Like, sure, there's maybe some things that like, you know, a tropical animal will like a certain humidity or whatever. But what like what I'm getting at is like some of the cave systems or some of the extra theming or this, that and the other thing are not really for the animals or more so for the guests to make it them feel like the animals are like in a good environment. That looks good there. All right. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
You certified diver. Ooh, my uh, my dad's a certified diver. I was gonna get certified to go diving, uh, and then go with him to Mexico, where he goes every single year. But then uh, the pandemic happened. Oops, not that. This one. One hundred percent. They're made to show off the animals in the best way possible, and honestly, most of the time, their enclosures that the public can uh, see is only where they are when they're on display. Right? Yeah, because most of the time, they're in their backstage, I guess you'd call it, or whatever you want to, you know, the word you want to use. Uh, areas, right? Okay, so I think what we'll do. I, I think I got this. So yeah, that's an interesting point too. So what the guests see is not even a fraction of where, or you know, where the animals actually are most of the time. Well, we want to build a cool zoo, but once I start to lose inspiration and move on to building a new zoo, what do you do to stay on one project? Sometimes you got to take a break. Um, if I start to run out of ideas, I'm kind of lucky enough to, you know, have other content creators that sometimes can use some help. So if you have friends that could use some help with uh, their projects, you know, hit them up. Uh, but like recently, I started to kind of lose some inspiration for uh, all my different ideas. And speaking of Savannah, uh, Simply Savannah, right at that time, started to do her shell build challenge. Y'all remember that really fun challenge that myself and a handful of other creators did? Uh, yeah, right when I was losing some inspiration, she hit me up to be part of that. And it was like perfect timing because I am running out of inspiration here. So yeah, I got to kind of dabble my feet in a totally different kind of build. So I guess the overall point of that is if you're losing inspiration for something, maybe move on to something else for just a little bit. And that could mean, overall, that could mean a totally different game. I did that before and a few other uh, content creators I know of are doing that right now where they are... Uh, not playing Planet Zoo right now and are just taking a break from content creation or just uh, gaming in general. Um, maybe you just need to take a break from Planet Zoo altogether. That can be a thing too. Have a good one, Stacy. Thanks for hanging out. Always do appreciate ya. Um, but yeah, I mean, I took a three month break from Planet Zoo and anything really Planet series for a little bit and that really helped. Like, I, I came back invigorated and good to go and yada yada. Hey, Christy, how you doing? Yes, you could play RimWorld with Harry. <laughs> that, yes, Lud, uh, that's exactly what this is right here. Read my mind, buddy. I'm with you. So we're going to have this area right here is going to be a, a walking, like a little thoroughfare. And we'll actually open it up so that they can... Yep, it's like this. I think we're getting somewhere, everyone. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of neato. <laughs> nice here, I appreciate that. <laughs> Let me guess, SD, yeah. <laughs> Were you able to get Thornton Hills finished? So close, Vanna, so, so close. I, uh... What did I leave off with last night? I got the African Savannah gift shop done. I got the bus stop done. I got the backstage done. That was a big one. So what else? I decided to nix the seal underwater viewing because it was fine. I'm kind of getting into that area of the build now where it's like, ah, it's fine. But um, I think I have like one more thing to do, which is like, oh yeah, 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 that's it. I have to place maps around the park now. Or on the zoo, I mean. I had to place the maps that Wyatt Andrew made around the zoo. Did I show everyone off the map that Wyatt Andrew made? I can't remember if I did. I'm going to show that off real quick. Because I feel like I may have forgotten to do that. 
Uh, but look at this stinking map that Wyatt Andrews made. Like, with his own time. <laughs> he was like, hey, can I make a map for your Thornton Hill Zoo? He's, like, been one step with me the entire way with, like, the vision of Thornton Hill Zoo. That dude just loves zoos. Field trip. Look at this. Actually, I think I did show it off, but, but hey, regardless, this is awesome. That's all professional and stuff like that. We even have Bold. Uh, Bold contributed to this without even knowing it, but um, Bold made this modern uh, emblem for Thornton Hill Zoo here. And uh, Wyatt went ahead and put that in the corner there. So, but yeah, look at this. He did it with uh, Photoshop and everything. And just like, when you see it like this, it's like, wow, that's a zoo. You know, like, I mean, I know that sounds like, well, duh, you built a zoo. But, like, when you see it, you're just like, dang, I built a zoo. Or, and, like, you can see it as, like, a zoo now. <laughs> so, yeah, um, now this is in actual, like, Thornton Hill Zoo. So when you go walk around the zoo, if you would have downloaded all the billboard items, you'll be able to see this map in the zoo and pinpoint where you're at to actually use it to go around the zoo because it is it's a big project right every you're gonna get lost probably so there's i've started to place around different areas of the zoo with actual maps and uh yeah so big shout out to wyatt andrews there uh for making the uh making the thornton hill zoo official map so cool uh you're ignoring his comment. What, what is it? What comment? Wants to know my new streaming schedule. I don't know my new streaming schedule yet. <laughs> that would be, uh, I didn't see his uh, comment there, but uh, I don't know my new streaming schedule yet. I will let you all know as soon as I know. I, I think it's going to be Monday through Friday, 1030 to 230. No, 1030 to 4. Something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't fully know yet, but I will definitely uh, let you know right as soon as I do. Because, uh, yeah, but unfortunately, I do think the daily streams are going to be coming to an end. Because, uh, yeah. It's just, it's just, oops, I didn't need to do this one. But yeah, so if I am going to be going from 10.30, so that's 11.30 Eastern. So I could do an early morning stream. Like, I wake up, because I normally wake up at, uh, like, 7.00. I'm usually up, or I have to be up by that time because my dog won't let me sleep other or, uh, sleep in otherwise. Um, so maybe I could do like an early morning stream before work. Because I know S. Dan uh, streams at nighttime, and I don't really want to do a nighttime stream either. A lot of my content's uh, focused on morning time and early afternoon. And I'd rather keep it like that, especially Instagram. Instagram is so good. If I post something at 9 o'clock in the morning on Instagram, it's almost like bound to do really good. If I post something at like... 1 p.m. on Instagram, it's going to do terribly. Hey, Cybris. Good to see ya. You got lost 10 times, Clark. Nice. Yeah, it's it's big. Yep. Will be added modded scene. Yes, this is a fully mod friendly zoo. So if um, this zoo, as we go along, if you want to experience it, you will have to have modded um, items in there. I will definitely lay it all out for you in the description of um, things. So I won't make it a, uh, a mystery or anything like that. But yes, this zoo will be going full, full on uh, modded there. I even told Leaf and Lion Rider last night that uh, they can use this zoo as a uh, testing ground for mods and stuff. You know, if they have like a pack that's coming out, uh, and they want to test it out or show it off or whatever. Yep, go ahead. Do it to it, baby. So yeah, Thornton Hill Zoo had modded animals. And this will have modded everything. I think some of the parking spaces got shorter. They got shorter. How do you figure? They should have stayed the same. Do a new, but no, don't read into that. <laughs> don't read into that. There's nothing, uh, I don't know anything, or <laughs> uh, I don't have access to anything at the moment, but um, yeah. Oh, do you mean shorter as in like height, like physically? The middle ones. I did this one here on purpose, if this is what you're talking about. 
Hey, Genevieve, how you doing there? You're on vacation right now, so glad you are able to make me too. Me too. Um, I did this on purpose. Not sure if this is what you're talking about. Otherwise, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Troy. That usually means that it's something that I need to address. <laughs> Whoops. It's just cold. Yeah, see? <laughs> nope, not that. Look at the other row. Hey! I think it got shorter. Good call. <laughs> Good call. I think there's two planters in there. Nope, there's not. I don't know how that happened. Huh. Nice. Alright, see? That's why I love doing this on stream. Yeah, the lines are shorter. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. Good stuff. <laughs> Did it do it on the other side? No. If we could get, uh, get mods from the Steam Workshop, too. Yeah, maybe eventually we could with the... Oh, see, the planter went all goofy over here, too. That's why it wasn't working out right there. Huh. I'm not really sure what's going on here. But we will move it. Uh, but name. No, I have no idea really right, right now. Which is not the uh, the greatest thing to to have a unnamed zoo there, but yeah, I don't know. Something with the word like sunset in it keeps coming to mind. But yeah, I like how you can make parking lots look so. Oh, thanks, uh, Savannah. Yeah, I, that's a park uh, planet coaster thing. That's <laughs> that's a planet parking lot. Thing. That's a planet coaster thing for sure. Been doing that so long in planet coaster that kind of like second nature now. For tiny car, that's right. Bunch of clown cars. Eyeballing the shit out of that right there. <laughs> that's okay. Have a good one there, uh, who's gotten the onions? I hope we figure it out one day. go so this little walk through i guess breeze area for people coming to these walkways this reminds me I, you know what it's starting to remind me of is uh disney world and disneyland the the ttc the ticket and transport center at disney world i don't just something about it just has very ttc vibes right now Sunnybrook Zoo, Sunset Grown Park, or Sunset Wild Zoo Park. Ooh, Sunset Wild Zoo Park. That kind of has a nice little ring to it, I guess. See, it did it over here, too. There's something with the planner. Oh, wait, but no, I don't really know why I did this with the planner there. But, we will move it over. I saved something goofy, huh? Oh, I selected too much. Oh, this is all one building, that's why. Duh. Sunset Acres Zoo. Saz! Ooh, that's kind of a... Kind of sounds like a, a funeral home, though. Sunset Acres. Actually, you know why? Because we literally have a sunset... Or, <laughs> we literally have a funeral home here called, I think, Sunset Fields or something like that. That's why I immediately thought of, like, a uh, memorial or a... Okay. Hey, thanks, uh, Cypress. Yeah. Sim simplistic, but nice. That's a nice boulder. Sleek, right? I guess sleek is what we're going for. I need to get this other beam unselected. I don't want to. I don't want you. Where is it? 
in the deep jungle. There it is. Get it? Did I get it? Aw, oh, Yahtzee! All right, so now we need to eyeball it to the edge of the road. I guess we don't really need to eyeball it. Just bring it to the edge of the road. Boom! So we can get them for Planet Zoo as well. Oh, the mods. Well, we'll hopefully get a theme maker's toolkit or something similar where people can bring in their own... There we go. Uh, items made in, like, Blender and stuff like that. That would be really nice. And we got it for Planet Coaster, so I guess no reason to think that we wouldn't get it for... This is all, like, way off right now. How did it get so off after just copying it? God dang it. I feel like I need to delete like everything we just did and like just start from square one because something got something got funked up. Like between this one here and this and this little bit here, I something got messed up. With the uh the advanced duplicate. It looks good, it looks right, but then when you start to like kind of look at it, you see that like no, I'm not really good at all. <laughs> Cause it, yeah, cause I rotated it, and I thought I don't think I clicked the, I don't think I bought the uh, world access back or whatever the hell. What's the inspiration for this? Do more specifically for this parking lot. So for the parking lot, I'll actually just paste it in chat. I don't know if that worked or not. There you go. That's my, um, it's a sustainable parking lot. A green parking lot. You know, we're gonna try this real quick. Oh, that's as far back as we can go, okay. Okay, so right here, Should be take this where our problem started. Wildlife Way Station. Yeah, a lot of good names there. Uh, do I have a? I do, Kayla. Yes. Uh, actually, it's right here. I'll share. If you type, if you search my name, Beyond Drew TV, it'll come up. But I think I can just share my board. Right. I'm really new at. Pinterest, I don't really know how to do a lot of the stuff with it. Share. Here we go, share. Copy link. I'm, yeah, I'm not like super duper active on like saving pins. I always forget to do it, but um, I'm starting to get a little bit better at it. There. there. I think that's how to do it. I think you might have brought you to just like one pin. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. What if you left the cover and just redid the support structure in the parking spots? Um, but I like the... I think those are good. Except I'm going to fix this before we go. Because I think I can still rotate and everything. I just need to make sure to realign it to the world uh, access. Whatever access it likes. Okay. So now. That's the new one there. We should take this. everything here I have everything I don't think I have everything I have a little bit too much there we go Create a princess board. It's really helpful, man. Like, it's so helpful to go back and just pull from my board real quick. And on top of that, the Pinterest board leads to more, like, ideas and stuff. Like, oh, dang it. I didn't get rid of it. That's okay. I'm going to flip it around. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice to go back and just pull from that real quick. Like, oh yeah, what's today's idea? You know, I have 117 pins there, so... There's 117 different ideas, essentially. I mean, you're not going to use every single one of them, right? But 
So here's what I mean where our X axis is off just a little bit. Yep, because I didn't hit it again. Now it should be going straight. It's lining up. That looks good. That looks good. But it's trippy. It's like waves. <laughs> okay, anyways. Right there. All about the breezeway without rotating. Yeah, actually, you're right. So I just need to get these bits right there and not the flat ones, right? Yes. Or everything but the breezeway is what you're saying. Yeah. So everything but the breezeway. The breezeway included in the... It kind of is. You don't be part of that. Be part of that. This is split up into, like, weird... There we go. So group that, now everything else is grouped, right? So if I were to move this, everything else is gone. Okay, so that's its own group. <clears throat> and we can just bring this over. Huzzah! this here <laughs> oh, my wife is heading home <clears throat> Uh, your hometown zoo is going through a big renovation. Oh, nice! Is like a big, like decades-long redo. Move this over. Now we have our breezeway. Okay. A real big, long, drawn-out way to do all that, but that's okay. Oh, now we have to redo this too. They got rid of the outdated South America building and made uh, a state-of-the-art penguin exhibit. They're going to expand the elephant habitat and they're giving crocs a much bigger home. Nice! Sounds good. Feels too big. All right, that's looking a lot better. Cool. Did these get short? They did. Did they? I can't tell. Yeah, they did. Crap. 
Parent crocodile habitat is basically just a tiny concrete box with some water. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, my local zoo is... Again, it used to be really state-of-the-art, but... In the last, I don't know, decade or so, they've really fallen behind the, the edge, the curve there. So there's a lot of uh, habitats that are kind of closer to that than really nice ones. All right. Room for one more? If not, we're going to make it. So there has to be room for one more. Okay, so yeah, that looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, except right here needs a walkway doesn't it so do that give me this one bring it over and then do it yeah yep todd yep that's exactly right and again nice thing about this is um even though this one section here is taking a little bit once we're done just go bloop bloop right no big deal Kind of spend a lot of time on this little bit here. I like how that random piece is a part of the building. I forgot to take it off. Um, yeah, spend a lot of time on the one thing here. Get it all nice, and then we can just duplicate it over. We get it right the first time, and then we can use it forever. Thanks, Crowny. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Hopefully, we can get some... Crowny Entertainment soon, which is basically cover that, which is basically a prehistoric kingdom. Feels like it's been a little bit of time since we've had some prehistoric kingdom update there, and yeah, again we were we were told uh, beta would be early April, and uh, you know it's no big, it's not the biggest deal in the world because we were told that it might take a little bit longer if things are needing to take a little bit longer, but it's like dang. Like to hear about at least some sort of update right about now. <laughs> See how, how how does this keep happening? How how does it get off like this? Huh. No, like like but for real, how does it do that? Why you do that? Show me. Show me where you do that. No, it's too far back. Need some P uh, PK beta action. I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Feeling a little left out to dry. <laughs> so, but yeah, you know, like like I keep saying, they they did they have been uh pretty forward to say that you know if something's not working right or i don't know they're wanting to move forward with an idea a little bit more or this that or the other thing that they'll spend time to do it so definitely gonna let them uh do what they need to do right want to get that polished come on, come on. i want to get that polished uh product not the quick and get it out po uh, product there hey what's up remnant thanks buddy I can't wait to see what Remnant did for Suyana. That's not out yet, right? I have to like double check now because YouTube has been uh, goofy. Hey, remember that time when I said I wasn't going to put any plants underneath the parking structure because there's no sun underneath there? Yeah, me too. Right now, I just remembered it. <laughs> That's okay. There's still sun that comes in here. It's California, right? There's always sun. But, uh, but yeah, thanks, buddy. That's totally what we're going for there, that eco-friendly vibe.
Do 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 do. Will your Sionna Zoo episode be out soon? It should be right. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Yeah, hopefully we get Suyana. You can see the Suyana update soon there. It's lacking waterfalls, <laughs> always. Always lacking waterfalls. But yeah, some shade loving plants, right? Yeah, we'll just say they're, uh, they're like a fern, right? Ferns love shade. Hey, no worries, Genevieve. You know you can always uh, watch the stream back if you're so inclined there. But appreciate you hanging out as long as you can. All right, there we go. This is looking pretty cool. This is looking pretty cool. Call that done? Oh, well, I got to redo, you know, <laughs> the parking lot, essentially. But let's do that real quick. A wild, oh, he's wild too. The remnants are wild. So yeah, now remnants done with uh, Suyana. Time to what? Head back into some. I don't need to delete the path. I can just built over. Just trying to head it back into some Balboa. Y'all haven't caught up with Balboa's zoo. That's an awesome series. It's another California project. Seems like all the cool uh, Planet Zoo series are based in Cal California way, California. <laughs> can it still be open? Oh my gosh, we'll find out. We'll find out if I, if we can still open it there. Because we're the best around. -da 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 -da. See, everyone also seems to forget about Eben. And how Eben, like, built, like, you know, an entire hotel interior. <laughs> like, because he's a madman. But yeah, Eben literally built a hotel interior. He His, his uh, build was so subtle, like, subtly sneaky for Suyana. I think he had it for like, what, four, three or four days? I was like, oh yeah, here you go. <laughs> oh, is it nice? Yeah, waiting for some mod action on Twin Palms. Some mod, like some real mod action? What kind of mod are you looking for? Oh, Leaf already knows, good. I started to sing this uh, song from Shit's Creek. No, I was starting to sing, because we're the best around. Now that you're gonna die, give me down. Because you're the best. Around. Ah, that's where I was going with that. <laughs> it sound like the Shit's Creek song. Shit's Creek song is like a a trombone or something, isn't it? Boom, 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 boom. You went before Peace and Blade, P Blade. I had the zoo for so long, it's like a blur. I, I got you. Yeah, it's like a, a distant memory. <laughs> yes, Domez, exactly. Alright, I think that looks pretty good there. Um, Do we need to have a thing right there? I think we do. A little breezeway walkway action. I'll finish it out. Oh, you mean like that acoustic song that he sings to him inside of the the on the poetry slam battle night or whatever? No. No, not even a little bit. <laughs> And now I'm starting like I'm going to sing the song from the OC. I never watched the OC. One of my friends was obsessed with the OC. He always would talk about Lauren? Right? Is that like on the OC? Was that one of the... But yeah, he would like come in... Uh, this is like during high school when the OC was on. So he'd talk about it when we were in high school. He'd come in on like whatever after day. He'd be like, oh my god, guys. I gotta tell you what happened to Lauren. 
She's such a bitch. <laughs> like, oh, okay, Patrick. <laughs> By the way, like, totally, like, straight as an arrow, dude. Like, not that, like, what kind of TV you watch is dictates, like, your sexual orientation. But, you know, there's just certain shows that... <laughs> um but yeah like it was just like the most random thing for like he was like a skater dude like nothing to indicate that he would ever watch like those but he liked that kind of show and he also would watch um oh what was the fake version of like the oc no not the oc but like the rich new york gossip girl he would always watch gossip girl and like try and get us to like watch it with him be like guys no you don't understand the story is awesome <laughs> like patrick shut up <laughs> he was weird he was weird in the best way, though. Like, he was, like, our cultural... You know how you, like, have friends that are, like, on the cultural thumb of, like, just totally out there, things that you have no idea what's going on? Like, he was... That was our... Patrick was, like, our cultural uh, window into different bits of society. It was it was great. <laughs> Everyone needs someone like that, I think, in their life that uh, that pushes their, their culture uh, culture norms a little bit. When is Brookfield going to continue, especially with the mods? That's a great question. As soon as I can visit it, I need to visit the zoo um, to get some inspiration. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's that's pretty much uh, what I need to do, and then I will feel ready to keep going with it. Because yeah, I'm, I've been uh, I've been thinking about it a lot. It's pretty much uh, time to do it with all the dolphin mods and regular other mods and stuff like that. So yeah. <gasps> why can't I? Why? Are there too many pieces? Oh, mother. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I can save this with, but it's going to be a weird barrier blueprint to put down. Hey, Sylvan. This is Patrick. Yes, this is Patrick. Hi, my name's Patrick. I go by Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob. So, yeah, we're going to have to save it like this. Or I just copy and paste it over bit by bit. Because what is it? It's one, two, wait, no, one, two, three, four, five, six. Where does it get eight? There's something else under there that is being counted. Okay, let's try this instead first before doing the other way. Can I control? Ah, <laughs> I can do that at least. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Now, did we put it right up on the line? We put it right up on the line. Oh, stuff. Hi, is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. How many of these in a row can we uh, duplicate over? Oh, just the one. Just the one. Can we take two and two and Q and make you in a group? We can. We can take you and go for wink. Oh, is it separated? Come on, just be cool, man. All right, there we go. Just being cool, man. Savannah, have a good meeting. If it gets boring, just like start watching Harold and Kumar go to White Castle in your head or something like that. I'd do that like at work. It's it's not a great thing to do, but if I ever got bored, I just like start watching a movie in my head that I'm like really familiar with. I didn't take much time. Boom! And it's just one of those things like where you just start placing a bunch of an object back to back to back and it starts to look really cool. Now, can I take you and you and make them into oh nope. How many pieces is this? This one thing. Oh, each one is three thousand pieces. <laughs> my computer's kind of going oh, is this what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do huh this is what we're about
It's almost like it doesn't want me to make a child-sized statue. It is a little bit difficult, right? It can get a little difficult there. You need more explanation on watching this movie in your head? You, don't you just do that? You like if you if you're bored and you're just like like daydreaming, but you just watch a movie in your head. <clears throat> I think I mentioned it yesterday, but like I have a I'm very much so like a photo what do they call it? Not photogenic, photographic memory type. Yeah, photo there it is. Uh visual learner photographic memory type thing. But yeah, like this is there like watch a movie, like movies in your head that you've seen a whole bunch of times. Ghostbusters is a good one for me. Like that used to be on all the time in our house, so it just can like go through like each scene. Like not each line or whatever, but it's like the spark notes. You do like the spark notes version of movies and play them over and over in your head. And then it takes up some time. <laughs> The projectionist quit, so you gotta hire any projectionist. There's your, there's your problem right there. There's your issue right there. Got a cheap projectionist. See there, yeah, Kayla's got uh, Harry Potter 3. What's that? That's the Prisoner of Azkaban, right? I like um, the fourth one's cool with the maze stuff. The one after, no, not the one after, the one, the, the young prince one. The half, the half young prince. I like that one. Never thought about doing that? Yeah, you just find a movie that you're like, you know, you've always uh, kind of known about or whatever. Hey-o. Hello. Um, yeah, a movie that you're really familiar with, that you can basically just do in your head and yeah just get bored at work or whatever <laughs> start watching it in your head yeah because i could do like caddyshack and uh ghostbusters and a little bit of titanic titanic's a good one because it's three hours long so it really takes up the time oh shoot i forgot to save that <laughs> the amount of a child if it were liquefied. <laughs> yes, exactly, Tomas. Nice Parks and Rec reference there. Always love it. Oh, we can get rid of this one, actually, because it's where our farmer's market's going to go. Our community garden or whatever the hell. We're going to do some editing over here, it looks like. Darn it, I thought we were done. So if I bring this forward, it's going to kind of runneth over. The cup runneth over into the other parking lot. Goblet of Fires of that's the name of it. Yeah, Half Blood. Half Blood Prince. What do they call it? The half the half young prince, my man. <laughs> um yeah, I like that one's really cool. That was really cool. I didn't like the first two, and I understand that like they're just like little kids in that one and yada yada, but I thought they were like kind of hokey cheesy in the first two. Never really a big fan of the first two Harry Potters there. Movies, that is. The books were um I always I really like the yeah, that looks good actually. The um, books, but yeah, the movies, the first two didn't, they didn't really have their footing. It's when they started to get darker with them. And I thought they really hit their stride because it's like, the first two tried to be this like, oh, we're hunky dory kids kind of movie. It's like, no, they're gonna like kill people and like Harry, his family's dead. And like, this isn't like a cheery, happy, go lucky like kids movie. Well, I mean, it is, but it's like, damn, dude, people are like getting straight up wizard deaths all, all over the place. <laughs> you play Adventure Time episodes in your head because they're like 10 minutes long each, so you can watch many at once. Yeah, right? Again, of course, you're not going to be able to watch it, watch it, but it's it's just like, again, the Spark Notes version of it or something like that. You never watched any of the Harry Potter movies? Ah, it's not a big deal. If, if you're not really into them or you don't think it's your cup of tea, for sure. I watched a lot of them because my brother and sister, like, they were really into them. I read all the books up until the fifth book, and then I, I stopped. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I watched most of them because my brother and sister really, really liked them. Luckily, they didn't like Twilight. Luckily, they neither of them were into Twilight. My wife isn't. 
But lucky again, she doesn't like the movies, so... Don't have to worry about ever watching the Twilight movies. Or the spin-offs, right? Because there's spin-offs with them, too. They're making the Cursed Child movie uh, series now, too, which is Harry's Kid. Oh, really? <laughs> Gotta keep it going. Gotta keep it going. First three movies, fuck yeah, I'm Harry Potter. The last three movies, fuck, I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> That's pretty true, isn't it? That was pretty accurate. Yeah, the last few movies, what was it? The second to last movie where they were camping the whole time? It did kind of feel like that, where he was just like, oh, I'm Harry Potter. And I'm camping. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hey, thanks, Becca. Yeah, I think this looks pretty sweet. I think it looks pretty sweet. Alright, now we have this little last section here to do. Your sister was uh, really into the books. Didn't, uh, did listen to the audiobooks. It was fun. Yeah, nice. Yeah. No, the books were fun. Yeah. yeah I, I can't remember where I stopped uh, reading them all the way. Honestly, because I came a senior in high school and I got way too busy. I didn't stick up with them. I didn't stick with them. I should have because they were released. Uh, I was I'm the same age as Harry Potter, so they as they were released, um, the first few at least they were released when I was that age essentially. Um, so it was it was kind of neat to uh, keep up with them, but then they kind of fell by the wayside a little bit as far as like sticking with the age and stuff because you know she's got to write a few thousand pages and stuff like that. Or, you know, it's a pretty big undertaking. Um, and then I kind of fell by the wayside. So I think, yeah, they eventually started coming out when I was in like high school and all that stuff. And I was like, I gotta study for finals. I'm not trying to, I can't read a thousand page Harry Potter book or whatever. I gotta do a thousand page, like <laughs> a final paper. So I get some trees here that almost look like fruit. Oh wait, there's a few uh, fruit-ish, like bearing type trees, aren't there? I think they're in the desert. Right. Oh, here, is this it? Yeah, the desert bloodwood tree. Kind of looks like it has fruit hanging. Oh, they're all kind of big, though. And the bark is super red. Hmm. You missed guy your life. Nice, uh, Harry. If, you th uh, if these are sort of sol solar power for the zoo, do you think there'll be wind turbines and hydro dams of that sort too? That's a good uh, That's a good point, yeah, because they go full uh, eco, right? Full environmentally friendly. So I don't know about the dam, because we're not going to really have like big things of water around, but the uh, the turbines, that's a, that's a pretty fun idea. Maybe we can do like a farm somewhere. Oh, th what are these called? The hookthorn acacias. Don't they have little bits of fruit in them? They do, and they're small. Oh my gosh. 4,224 pages. Ugh. Yeah, I'm busy, like, trying to pass high school, bruh. <laughs> tamarind tree. Tamarind tree, too. I think that's the one I was actually thinking of. Yes, it was. Good shout, uh, Troy. Good shout. Because there's a teeny tiny one of them. Oh, that looks so good. Both of these look good. One of them will just be more in season than the other. I think I'm bad at this game. I think I'm pretty bad too, but you know what? All we can do, my friend, is every day try and be better than the last, right? And the kind of nice thing about this game is that there's no competition. So what you say is bad, someone else might think is good. So it kind of goes in full circle, but I appreciate you still watching even though you think it's bad. I think that says more about you than it does me. But, you know, if you like to watch things that you don't enjoy, do you, boo-boo. You do you. And I appreciate you giving me the view, because that helps me in my YouTube uh, journey there. So, yeah, please, please, and comment more, too. Tell me more about how bad I am, because that also helps the um, algorithm. So I do appreciate that. I'd imagine the zoo would have its own greenhouse farm animal for the uh, carnivores. Yeah, probably. I think the backstage is going to have a lot of, like, modern greenhouses and fun stuff like that. <laughs> I 
No, you suck, Domez. Let me tell you something. You're the big poop head. <laughs> no, it's Cypress. Don't worry about it. Don't feed into it. If they come in again, just boop them out. But don't feed into it. They, that, they're looking for someone to talk back to them. I'm sorry they're having a lonely day, but <laughs> we're not going to feed into their, their loneliness there. <laughs> we're not going to feed into it. But, but I am being serious. If they are still watching, that's awesome. Because it is just giving a view for the stream, right? It's literally just good for the uh, it's good for the stream for them to hang out and watch. Alright. Go and get! Unless you want to stay. In which case, hang out, stay. Out of you. Perfect. I love it. All right. Let's add in some more little bits there. <laughs> Cheers, Todd. A little bit of color here. What plan is that for the grass? Isn't that great? It's part of the new, uh, the underwater eel grass large. I don't think it was part of the aquatic pack. I think it was part of the free update that came along with it, but it might be part of the aquatic pack might be part of the aquatic pack. Hey, someone, don't let me forget later on in this zoo when I'm complaining about the frame rate. Don't let me forget about stuff like this that I do. Because <laughs> this kind of thing is exactly what later on I'm like, man, I just, there's not that many buildings and like, there's only a few thousand pieces in the solar panels. Like dead. Where's all the frames going? Yeah, this is this is like doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> um, what's up, Adam? I suggested this yesterday too. Would love to see a huge modern Asian elephant habitat, like Elephant Odyssey. And oh yeah, I've been looking at that for uh, inspiration, Adam. Um, or Asia Zoo at the LA Zoo. Yeah, no, definitely. I think that's um, a good direction to uh, pinpoint us to go to. Yep, yep. Good shout. An insect or butterfly house for my zoo. Not sure if someone's made. Oh, hey, you know what they have? There's some really good. Or an uh, insect. I think I made one too. So I made an insect garden for Thornton Hill Zoo that's on the workshop. So you can take, you can grab this, but I made this little area right here. And then on the actual workshop part, uh, there's an insect hotel as well. So if you type in insect or anything like that, yeah, there's like really cool little bit. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and add that in. Good show. And that is made, I think it's by Haribo, but let me double check. That is from T and Biology, T and B. T and Biology, it's literally called T and B's, like letter T and symbol B, letter B, Insect Hotel. You sent a detailed breakdown of what you did poorly in each habitat every time you upload an episode. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that happened? Oh my gosh, it must have, right? It must have. You know what else we have that's really good? And I think this is from Just Gore and this birdhouse. No, this, this is from Haribo. This is from Haribo. But yeah, that's a really cool insect hotel there. Shout out to TNB and then shout out to Haribo for this really good birdhouse. I think those look kind of neat there. And I know that Just Goron did make a birdhouse to put on. There it is. This is a great one. The Beaks, the Beaks Barrigan birdhouse. And this is a great one to put up like on trees. Just like this. I love that. That looks great. That looks great. About uh, not working out. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that bold story about that. <laughs> uh, wonder if Leaf and Nick's African Penguin mod has something to do with them changing direction. Uh, wh uh, who direction what? Oh, 
Uh, oh, did Mark come back and be a butthead again? Dang it, Mark. Now you're not getting counted as a viewer. <laughs> he didn't mean to be rude or anything. <laughs> well, Mark, let me tell you something. You were rude, so that there you go. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna put greenhouses in between there. What do we ask him to drop links for? Uh, I wonder if, uh, here's a link if you wanna check it out. Link to what? What are we linking? <laughs> Dang it, right, we did have high hopes, right? I mean, y'all might have had high hopes. I didn't really have that high hopes. Troll's a troll. I, what are we talking about linking though? No. Missed something. So now we know that we are at least getting a new bird in game and not the African penguin as it was originally mentioned. We do know that, do we? We said another leak today about the African DLC, either intentionally or unintentionally. A dev posted this into their art station account. What? Post it in my Discord, if you would, please. Where are we talking here? Come on, someone, someone give me a link there. <laughs> someone give me a link there. I want to I wanna see it there. All right, well, while y'all are getting the link ready, uh, I'm going to keep uh, looking at what we could add in here. Now, I think that'll be enough parking spots so we can kind of start to think about where the entrance plaza area will go. How much of this did it take up? Not too much. We'll mark this area out here as our entrance plaza. Uh, no, no, you're fine. I didn't. I just uh, missed the first initial uh, post. I didn't know we were talking about it first. <laughs> now that I know we're talking about, it, I'm also curious. You know, I love a a good leak, and I don't see why there's any problem. I'm on team. It's news, so I'm going to talk about it. I don't believe in the whole we can't talk about things even though it's public information i think that's stupid um but yeah give me a linky and we'll show everyone there's no no reason to keep it a secret if it's out there ready for everyone to to see and i think we'll have like a like a step up there that's right todd you know i like to take a good leak and look at a good leak Yeah, if you can, uh, Selene, if you can link it on my Discord or send it to Link Leaf or something, then we will have a little bit of fun here on stream. Again, especially if it's public information, I have no problem doing that right now. Frontier has been all but forward with they really don't care as much as people think they do about leaks and stuff like that. Everyone always, it's the end of the world! We found something out. Frontier's gonna shut the game down. What? No, they're not. What are you talking about? Stop it. That's silly. Don't be silly. Don't be a silly Sally. Think logically. Let's see. Where is that reference photo I just had? That had the cool plaza. Used that one yesterday. Huh, I just had it clicked on. Maybe if I go back. I'm back. There it is. Found it. Do 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 do. All right, so the color is a little bit of an. There we go. Could have been a mistake. Well, that's the aquatic pack uh, leak was a mistake too, but once it's a leak, it's a leak. Information's out there, information's out there. I mean, at this point, if we're <laughs> if we're basing things on whether or not it was a frontier oopsies or not, like just to 
be up front. Frontier does oopsies all the time with their stuff. <laughs> like, I can't remember the last time we had a pack that wasn't leaked beforehand. Uh, usually because of Frontier uh, doing like a, oopsies, we didn't encrypt our files, so someone, anyone that has a brainstem could get inside it. Like, it just kind of comes with the territory in Frontier now. I think that's why I'm so lax about it. And everyone, maybe Planet Zoo people are kind of more on edge, but like, I, I really can't remember a pack that hasn't been leaked. Even Planet Zoo, I knew about Planet Zoo coming because of a Frontier leak, you know, like a year before it coming out. Um, so it's just kind of common practice for stuff to get leaked through Frontier uh, nowadays. So yeah, if the information's out there, it's good. We, we can look at it. Did it work? I put the... Uh... Yeah, so they usually do get deleted in Steam chat and stuff. So yeah, if you send it over on Discord, then we can see what you're working with there. Yeah, only, yep, exactly. Only myself and devs can, yep. Or mods, devs. <laughs> Link in the last video that. Oh, over on a, a video I did? Right on. So I want to kind of have steps starting to go up here. Let me actually bring this forward a little bit. We'll have steps in the center and ramps on the side. I put the link. Okay, I see. Uh, yeah, I didn't see a comment on any of my videos. Cool, I'm some lion statue that uh, I'd love to see use maybe for a fountain or something like that. The end game ones. Yeah, maybe we could do that, yeah. What the fuck? All right, yeah, Leaf, if you get a link to what they are talking about, uh, let me know, because I didn't see a comment on any of my last videos. And um, I'll look at it first there. Frank, you think Frank? I know I'm kind of thinking my ball on it pretty well. <laughs> or it might be terrible. Let's see, how'd I do? How'd the eyeballing go? Oops. <laughs> well, you know what? It. Mm. Yeah, it's too small. <laughs> They're too small. Very, very tiny steps in between each other. So we can go all the way up. There we go. <laughs> Teeny tiny stairs, yes. You're not, oh, no worries. I, I, I understand you're trying to get it the best way you can. What are these stairs for ants? What is this? A center for ants? I haven't watched Zoolander in forever. I love that movie. Oops, oops. There we go. That didn't really work out too well, did it? Just do two more up. I'm trying to remember, in Planet Coaster, 
I think someone actually looked into like not stair, yeah, like stair design and like how many are in a landing and stuff or any in a staircase usually or whatever. I think it's like three to five is like the normal for like a short to medium staircase and like a basement stair is like 12. I always try to remember that one building stairs. Like, okay, how many, how many do we have there? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. Get him, Murph. Oh yeah. Rough. Rough. Get him. Ah. <laughs> He told that leaf or branch or stick that was falling. <laughs> bark, 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 bark. <laughs> boof, boof. He boofs a lot too. He's a big. Boofers. Anyone else dogs just sit around all day and just boof at everything? He like he tries to do the to uh, constrain himself, but it, it it doesn't work. He just starts boofing. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> yeah, the doggo is uh, speaking. <laughs> yeah, I haven't gotten anything either. There, uh, Selena Rice. I've, I haven't gotten a notif- I get notifications when people comment on my videos and I've not gotten anything, so... Not sure where the hang-up is. Not yours are barking? Oh, me. Yeah, you told that, Lee. That's right. Oh, no, and your husky's barking, too? See, this always happens, doesn't it? <laughs> they hear a dog speak and they're like, Oh, I gotta talk to my friend! <laughs> My buddy's trying to tell me something. What's that? Little Timmy fell down a well? Keep posting it, not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes YouTube can boop stuff away. Um, you could send it on Twitter. Yeah, sometimes YouTube can make it so it, you don't get linked option or comments or anything Do, do, uh, hey Matt, how we doing? Pokemon in there. There's no shaders near the gate or parking lot. Not too sure yet, but I th think mainly this entrance plaza is going to have a lot of those shade structures there. Clark, you saw it there? Um, yeah, if you could, or someone, send it off. Fake leak? Okay. Sounds good. Oh well, yep. Oh well, indeed. What was it? Was it uh, the model that you're talking about? I have to level this up. Hmm. We'll do it in 15 minutes. Hey, what's up, Rem? Oh, darn. Yeah, the fake leak. Yeah. 
This is an art piece with the Planet Zoo logo on it. Oh, like they took something from Art Station or whatever and just slapped on a Planet Zoo logo on it. Yeah, that, that happens a lot. So here's our ramps coming down here. Do one like there. I feel like I'm making this too small. This might be a nice, uh, like a proof of concept kind of thing. I say that a lot during my streams. <laughs> That's what the streams are a lot of times though. I think I talked about it yesterday where a lot of the stuff we do on stream is it's kind of getting the idea out there and then it's really coming back and perfecting it, sometimes redoing entirely uh, off stream. Steeper. They, yeah, they are a little bit steep, but eh. <laughs> it's kind of how I feel about it right now. Like, eh. uh, things are good, man. Nice. Yep. Someone stole someone else's art. Man, the the people wanting to get attention for leaking stuff on for Planet Zoo is kind of too damn high. And the thing is, they're usually, they're usually anonymous posters too, so it's like you're not even getting credit for leaking information. They just like to see the community go into a frenzy. But I've been pretty uh, distant or just not really believing a lot of the leak talk, even when the official one was done. I was kind of like, eh, yeah, we'll see. Because <laughs> it's, it's one of those things where when one leak comes out, it's like, okay, another one's going to come out because it's like, it's just someone else trying to reel off the headlines or whatever, you know. It's just the popular thing to do right now. So it's like, okay, well, I have a leak too. It's, it's not hard to do a Planet Zoo leak either. That's believable, right? Because all the stuff is based around either biomes or continents for the most part. Or now we know it's either an animal pack or a normal pack. Hey, what's up, Lion Rider? Yeah, we already, started, yep, we already debunked it, yep. Yeah, you just uh, cross-check the image, I'm sure, or just reverse uh, image checked. Came up as, hey, guess what? That's not from Planet Zoo. <laughs> this was made like three years ago or whatever. <laughs> Maybe it's too small for guests. So this is a typical size for guests there. Um, but since it is the main area, I can get a good amount of people. We might, I might make this area here for guests as well. I might make this for guests as well. Went on Tumblr, found a piece of art, and went to uh, play a zoo on it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh. See, what if we add stairs over this way? Because I do agree, it's a little bit short, I suppose. I don't need this here. Especially for PZ leaks because of the DLC pattern. Yep, and they're biome based fake leaks. Yeah, they are. Like, I could say, hey, uh, everyone, a North American pack was just leaked today. It's going to have the moose, American black bear. <sighs> I'm not good with the animal bits, but you know, you, you, know, you see what I'm saying. Though. It's, it's easy just to start throwing off random a bobcat, raccoon, uh, you know, stuff like that, a deer. And the scenery is going to be. Uh, actually, what they say, they said uh, Indian. That was one of the fake leaks. They said it's going to have Indian uh, 
scenery and that's like really culturally insensitive to say india when you're referring to native americans in like the u.s kind of thing and uh, frontiers always been uh very on point with you know not well they're a major company right so yeah um but yeah no it's 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 very easy to just start throwing out random scenery here that makes sense some random animal from north america or wherever that makes sense to uh get the uh get the Planet Zoo community in a in a rile, all riled up there. Yeah, see there you go. So <laughs> Warden's already like, what? Yeah. <laughs> or uh, let's build a zoo trailer for Switch. Looks like a fun eight bit. No, I haven't. I've never heard of that. Uh, man, I'll have to look into that. Thanks for the heads up. I'm always looking out for some more fun little build uh, building games there. Ooh, but you know the one thing is I don't have a Switch. I do not have a switch. I know Savannah does. S simply Savannah, <laughs> rather, uh, does. So if it's not going to come out to anything else except for the switch, then uh, at least we can watch her play it. But that'll be fun. Taking way too much time on this staircase right now. See, Todd's on it. Todd's on the pulse. He, he has it. <laughs> they have it down there. <laughs> Looks like it could be fun, Troy. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. I never even heard of that. The other one I've heard of is Simply Zoo. Simply Zoo is another one I'm looking at, which is from the creators of Prehistoric Kingdom. A lot of the developers of Prehistoric Kingdom are making a, like a Zoo Tycoon 1 uh, successor. So it looks like it could be good. Um, looks like it might be a little bit shallow, but um, we'll see. It's still very much so early in development. But yeah, Simply Zoo. We'll get updates on that on my uh, Discord channel there. But yeah, that looks like it could be interesting. They already have capybaras in that game, so you know it's... <laughs> so you know it's good, right? Whoa, Oliver. Listen, buddy. That's... That's... Uh, way too much. That's That's way too much there. Way too much info leak there. <laughs> Mario has a picture of S Dan, I think, as his pic as his profile picture. <laughs> Someone <laughs> actually has S Dan as their profile picture. That's not weird. Have a good one, Todd. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, buddy. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, Troy. Oh, it's on PC too. Gotcha. Simply Zoo might have crossover with PK. Hmm, how would they do that? They look like totally different uh, games though. How do you think they would do crossover? Uh, Mario, he'll do what he wants. You can download it if you want to, but yeah, he'll, he'll make what crops he wants to. So let's not tell people what to and to not do there. Thanks! He appears in the comments. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Being a bit aggro there, Mario. There we got weird vibes with the S stand pick. <laughs> All right, I think that is shaping up a little bit how I'm going to want it there. Now we need to get the planters going. So we're gonna pinpoint. Hey, what's up, basic builder? Good to sleep. 
Kind of Jurassic Park Visitor Center out front? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. A Stan's burner account for when he gets in a bad mood. Could be, right? Yeah, very much so could be. <laughs> oh, I'm like way off center. Whoa, I'm like way off. GC don't want for playing to see like me personally. Hope we don't get. Di I'm with you. I don't really want to get dinos or anything like mystical or anything like that, like unicorns or stuff. Nah, I'm not really into that. Just fill out the zoo game with zoo things, right? I, th I think we have enough zoo uh, items th that need to be filled out first. But yeah, no, I don't I don't think we need like dinosaurs and stuff like that. I'm with you there. Excuse me. Yawn came out of nowhere. It must be past... Oh, wow, it's almost four. I didn't even expect to stream this long. We're going to get uh, ready to wrap up there. we going to get ready to wrap up there in just a little bit. Um, You know what? I'm going to make the... Uh, I'm going to make the executive decision here. There we go. I'm just gonna go with my gut on that one. <laughs> there is a, there's a rule in the community that if you're just not vibing right, you can just, just, just leave. <laughs> just, just go away. <laughs> How do you think we're gonna get DLCs for until Planet Zoo 2 leaks start to appear? Ooh, yeah, if we get a Planet Zoo 2, right? Um, I think about another year. I think about another year, and then I'll be be about it there. So, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up there. We got a lot done. Oh, that's right. I put some greenhouses over here. I like this little uh, structure that we made here. A little bit of complications with the first one, but we got the solar panels uh, kind of done up there. And yeah, the entrance plaza again. It might look a lot different next time um, that you guys uh, see it, but I, th I like the initial idea. That's kind of the I want to have like a big grand staircase up to like a second plaza. Uh, second level plaza and that's going to take up a big area um, up here there so um, yeah hopefully it'll look the same but if not you'll have the at least the general idea there so cool hey I'm going to go ahead and take off everyone um, but should be live tomorrow today's Tuesday tomorrow's Monday I think it'll be live tomorrow uh, it's about 50 50 uh, the wife is off work there so um, yeah we might be hanging out with her so we might be out just kind of doing stuff and everything so but cool hey thanks so much for hanging out I always do appreciate it thanks so much to our members for always supporting the channel if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can save up all the live streams we'll be getting uh, the Thornton Hill Zoo tour out just as soon as I can that is basically done so hopefully I can get that finish finish finished uh, today and get the tour out soon uh, also the like button on your way out also does help out the video later on when it's uploaded all that kind of fun stuff there so cool hey thanks so much everyone do appreciate it as always and i will catch you in the next stream or video have a good one